सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कैनवास ऑफ बॉर्डर मैनेजमेंट हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सोमे रंजन पति वेलकम टू सोमे स्टाइल A location claimed by a sovereign state is called its territory. Thus, between two sovereign states, a border exists. At border, authority of sovereign state ends, but the cultural relation between the people does not. So, communities interact with each other across the border. It facilitates cross-border trade. This brings commerce into picture. Now, people from one state. to the other state migrate crossing the border in search of better employment and livelihood in this process both migrants and the receiving country gets benefit migrant gets its livelihood and the country needs cheap labor for its industry thus open border facilitate socio economic integration Moreover it helps in establishing peace and harmony in the neighbor thus nowadays regional block formation has become a new trend european union sets the example however when migrants do not return to their own country they become illegal migrant they put burden on the natural resources of the country many illegal migrants are vulnerable to terror network we have already discussed in our video on terrorism Similarly with trade narco terrorism smuggling illegal arms trade happens it provides resources to extremist element perhaps this is the major reason why in northeast still insurgency are continuing despite of the all efforts taken by the government again fake currency enter into our economic system that affects our economy the terror finance network provides lifeline to the terrorism activity moreover hostile neighborhood promotes such activities so in one side open border promote economic integration political integration brings harmony and peace and the other hand it promotes evils like terrorism extremism and affects the public order thus we need to check the evil networks and promote the positive side that means we need to manage however this is not the only equation that state has to man it has to mobilize its international obligation for border management and maintain due diligence for its commitment towards human right special right of children and women for example it needs to take steps to stop human trafficking along the border also state need to promote sustainable development goal So let's try to understand the canvas of border management. To curb illicit cross-border movement, there is need of identity management. Similarly, to curb smuggling, narco-terrorism, terror finance, there is need of border management information system. However, these efforts may fall short. Thus, we need coordination between various agencies and stakeholders. This is known as integrated border management. On the other hand, we need to be sensitive. towards the humanitarian issues migrant right need of special protection for child and women trafficking keeping this framework in mind let's discuss about border management strategy our approach and practice of border management varies from border to border it based on security perception and relationship with the neighbor country to know about the relationship with our neighbor countries please refer to my blog link is given in the description box below so let's first discuss about the force deployment forces are deployed on the principle of one border one border guarding force for pakistan and bangladesh we have border security force for china we have indo tibetan border police for nepal and bhutan we have sashastra sima bal for myanmar we have assam rifles along with this indian army is deployed along the line of control in pakistan and line of actual control in china similarly indian navy is responsible for overall maritime security maritime security includes coastal security and offshore security indian coast guard is responsible for coastal security it is assisted by other agencies 
it brings coordination among the different agencies so let's discuss about the specific border issues and our approach in india bangladesh border we have unique problems like there is high degree of porosity thus it is tough to surveillance there are illegal migrants they have we have already discussed about it in our discussion on northeast insurgency then we have cross border activities like trafficking smuggling then anti national elements and islamic radicals they are coming through it there is a strong ethnicity between west bengal and bangladesh the such activities are sustained despite our efforts moreover socio economic condition forces the migrants to come to india border security force is deployed here border outpost is the work station of border security force for each post area of responsibility is specified they check trans border criminals infiltrator incursion or any border violation however a physical barrier may provide better way forward thus we have fencing and flood light but there are problems associated with fencing as well it gets rusted people caught it or climb it thus it provides an element of deterrence but doesn't provide complete check nowadays anti cut anti rust and anti climb fencing is used still fencing is not possible in riverine area moreover many times local people protest there is also problem of land acquisition thus we have comprehensive integrated border management it is the integration of manpower sensor network intelligence command and control and solutions to improve situational awareness it comprises of state authority and all stakeholders they will continuously evaluate threat from across the border observe and analyze the crime pattern and formulate appropriate response map. it consists of five layers elements ahead of border force physical border infrastructure border guarding force and intelligence grid and police now let's discuss about pakistan bangladesh was east pakistan earlier so the infrastructure and institution involved are almost same however the difference lies with the fact that pakistan promotes state sponsored terrorism it has infrastructure to launch new terrorist into our land thus army is deployed here in addition to the border security force the major problems we are facing in this border are the cross border terrorism mostly the state sponsored terrorism infiltration smuggling of arms ammunition contraband tough terrain for fencing riverine area pakistan supporters inside our land thus this border is an active and live portion of the line of control india myanmar border we discussed about it while discussing a northeast insurgency there is a open border here people from both side can come and settle for 2 weeks for that they need a border pass it is issued by designated authority this arrangement is to facilitate the cultural integration of tribes of both side however this is misused by extremist element for terror financing setting up of terror networks chinese goods enter into india through this network we have a joint boundary working group which takes care of border issue now let's discuss about india china border this border is not fully marked due to high terrain it is tough to maintain the ground position thus there is a perception and it is called line of actual control we face chinese incursion intrusion and border violations here indo tibetan border police is deployed in addition to indian army we have border outpost here and road construction activities are going on we also have open border with nepal thus there is a chance of misuse of open border for example terrorists find this route easier to enter into india similarly criminals carry out their illegal and anti national activities through this border thus we have joint working group at joint secretary level and we have border district coordination committee to discuss the issues of mutual concern then we have indo bhutan border it is a peaceful border we have bilateral forum for discussing the issues 
Thus, we discussed about infiltration, smuggling and migration aspect. However, this is not all about border management. We need to promote sustainable development goal also. We also have border area development program. It is a part of comprehensive approach towards border management. Near to international border, there are remote inaccessible area. Through border area development program, developmental need and well-being of the people is promoted. It is done through participatory approach. That is the coordination between central government, state government and local government. Under this program, physical infrastructures like road construction is done. Then social infrastructure like skill development program is promoted. Emphasis is also given on economic link establishment. For example, promotion of border tourism. Now let's discuss about coastal security. Indian Navy is the overall responsible for our maritime security. So maritime security has two parts. One is coastal security and another one is offshore security. Indian Navy is assisted by Indian Coast Guard, Coastal Police and other state and central government agencies. Indian Coast Guard is responsible for coastal security. It is assisted by Coastal Police and other organizations. Indian, Co- Indian Coast Guard coordinates all agencies. Now let's discuss about coastal security scheme. The prime objective is to strengthen infrastructure of coastal area, patrolling and surveillance of coastal area, particularly the shallow water close to their coast. There are other coastal security initiatives like community interaction program. Under this program, fishing community is sensitized about about the prevailing security situation and develop eyes and ears of information. Then we have fisherman biometric identity card. This is for fisherman, those are entering into territorial water, exclusive economic zone and high sea. They will be given QR enabled Aadhaar card. For tracking of vessels greater than 20 meter length, automatic identification system equipment is mandatory. For vessels less than 20 meters, National Marine Bill 2009 provides provision for mandatory installation of transponder. Similarly, we have schemes for security of non-major ports, security for single point mooring and coastal mapping. These will promote the coastal security. Thus, we appreciated that border has different milieu. Like there is a dimension of topography, social dimension, ethnicity, economic regions and hostile neighborhood problem. So I hope you got an overview of the broad approach towards the border management. Now let's discuss what are the improvements we can do. So the first one is we need to train the local police so that they can handle the issues by themselves. Then we need to carry out joint operation. Then we need to promote comprehensive strategy, border development program and promote make in India product to avoid spare part problem and cost problem those are associated with the technology. Thank you very much for your precious time. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Such value added content, stay connected to me.